Okay. <laughs> Here we go. We're trying to uh, see if this doesn't crash again. Shouts in my <laughs> Did a quick reset on stuff. Sorry, I said you're wasting your time. I sat down. And mine. Rule number 17 no. of Gallo. Uh, Don't yeah. throw. Why can't I ever remember the name of right. number 17? You still. Yeah, there, there we go. Uh, okay. Maybe you don't know. On the other hand, Uh. Can get back to the water. water. You have room, so you. This Let's see if it just fails. <laughs> Snuck in here like a thief. You can only You'll get what jiggle you around like that so many times where it just runs out of memory. Every time it does that, it's using a uh, gigabyte. <laughs> my mechanical. You will let no stop. What do you? Why are you doing? Let's see. Trash, but I'm not. Are you? Not me. What? Maybe you ain't it. Can you talk louder? I was like, you know what? That's you know exactly what? right. That's exactly right. Exactly right what? I don't understand. Shoot him. Explain better. I don't want to kill him. I need him alive. So? Oh man! <laughs> I hate it. Just as planned. Just as planned. If the interrogated doesn't start to sing, playing like a fiddle, I'll publicly prove the guilt of this serial venture. <laughs> she doesn't like it either. Sorry, son. We will be quite a bit of money. Ladies and gentlemen. I have all the elements I need to incriminate the perpetrator who killed the entire city's flora. Ooh. So professional, Gallo. My professional love. You're making a big mistake, Detective. Yeah, it's no, not him. It. So? Is he or is he not the criminal who c c c killed my little ones? <laughs> In the pocket of the suspect was this diary. Which doesn't link me at all to the serial murders. Thorn, help me. Your intuitions at crime scenes are always brilliant. I have to incriminate the suspect to solve the case. And to pocket the full fee. Okay, so... His handprints? If those are his? Let me go! I have to find a motive and throw it in his face. Ha! Huh. These are the memories of a crazy fighter foe. Let me go. I wonder what's written inside. The clue that proves the motive. The memoirs of a crazy fighter foe. With a list of all the reasons not to have a plant in the house. I have nothing to do with this. I must use it to incriminate the dump owner. I must use it to incriminate the dump owner. I have nothing you to do with the this. contents of your diary. Tuesday, January 30th. I was ripping off the pedals just for fun. <laughs> Thursday, February 2nd. I pulled all the seeds from a sunflower. Do I have to go on? Enough! I c can't listen anymore! Come on. Has nobody ever done loves me, loves me not? Me! Foolishness. And who doesn't like sunflower oil to fry? Well, I like it. Me too. So, all this doesn't prove anything. How can I kill all the plants in the city? The mold. Here's the murder weapon. Mold? How can you be so sure that the cause of all of this is mold? You haven't even found the murder weapon. Thanks for the intuition, Thor. See? This proves the contaminant strength of the mold that polluted the city water. But it doesn't prove I'm guilty. I found the same mold in the aqueduct tower. And in your dump as well. If it stayed in my dump, it wouldn't have hurt anybody. What makes you think it wasn't someone else who put that mold in the aqueduct tower? 
You have to prove the assassin's identity. As soon as I get them analyzed, these handprints will confirm my charges. You open that fridge, fit the mold, and then poison the city water. And these handprints are proof. Did you say fridge? Yes, he said fridge. It was you who threw a fridge in my dump. I saw you on my security cam. Mackenzie, my friend. How many dinners together? How many drinks? And now. I've lost you forever. <laughs> Rule number 17 of Gallo. Don't throw away your drinking buddy. You will drink to forget, and then you'll forget this room. Only now that I get my memory back. Look at those handprints. They're too short and fat to be mine, and they're sticky. Your hands were sticky too, D -D -D Detective Gallo, when you pointed your g -g gun at me. Sticky candies of the highest quality. I give them to him every time he passes in front of my food. But... How did the mold reach the aqueduct tower? I think it's an unfortunate trick of fate, helped by the fact that many people throw away objects that aren't empty. The dump's platform is calibrated only for empty objects. But in the fridge was my favorite cheese. A 24 year, three month season stinking. And what happens if the objects in the platform aren't empty? Here's what. So, I am the culprit? Ah, good riddance. Truly professional, Gallo. I paid you to find the guilty party, and you did it. Oh, Gallo, you're my hero. But you won't get another penny from me. I don't want to finance a criminal. And I don't want to invest in crime. Too risky. Gentlemen, a man's dignity has no price. How much do you want for your silence? Is a generous advance enough? Another day, another case solved. More or less. Rule number 345 of Gala. Don't acknowledge any merits, unless they're your own. You'll see that any moment now, the phone will ring with a new case. Well, I didn't like that. The phone is about to ring, and we will learn much more than today. You wanna talk about how you liked it when it started and you got really unhappy? Like, it has like all this charm and... Let's hope to keep it for a while. Like, I really like... Maybe today is the International Day of Legality? I really like, uh... The premise Maybe of, like... No, it's not. This anthropomorphic chicken P.I. character. Like, I think that that's a really good... I can tell by your face that you're uh... anxious, Thorne. But it's only a matter of seconds. Trust me. A really good, like, protagonist character for a game like this. Um. Let's see. Yes, it's charged. It first started out, and, you know, it had, like, lots of little in jokes for, uh. for noir as a genre in general that were funny to me and I enjoyed. Perhaps the clients are too shy nowadays. You just got like Horns really obnoxious really fast. Um, I'm curious if it's better in Italian. It's possible. Uh, because one of my primary complaints is that I didn't like any of the voice acting. Mm -hmm. um, and it just came off as sloppy in general. 
Gallo. Detective. Detective Gallo. Hold on for the hot sequel. Just when you think a story is over, you find out it's the start of a new story. Yeah. Um... And it just didn't seem to really... I mean... I don't think it's really any better or worse than most adventure point-and-click games where you just kind of are doing kind of arbitrary things to advance forward. Um, it threw a lot of items at you, and you just kind of had them. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we ever used the alarm clock. I don't think so either. Uh, I mean, it also made, like, jokes at the start of the game about how, you know, like... A lot of times you just pick up junk in these kind of games, and it's nothing. Um, but what I really just didn't appreciate is that it was clunky to just, like, try to use things just to move forward, which is just a thing that you do in point-and-click adventure games. Mm -hmm. And then it's sitting there, and it's insulting you as you're doing it. And be like, you're an idiot. Why are you trying to do this? It's like, because I don't know what you want me to do. Because yeah. you have not given me a clear path forward, because the thing you're asking me to do is obscure nonsense. Um, uh, I really hate in point-and-click adventure games when you have to like watch the character walk as slowly as possible across the screen. Um, when well, they, they don't do like a double-click. They did speed give up you a thing. fast travel thing, but you can't do it until the screen pans over to where yeah. you can click. Yeah. Uh, that's always super obnoxious to me in games like this. But like here, like this part of the this part of the experience where it like comes up, like I'm instantly interested in this game. Um, and the way it f started out at the beginning, like it was continuing to play on this set of things that I thought was really charming about just the loading screen all by itself. Um, I would agree with you. Like the script felt like kind of sloppy. Um, and maybe that is, like, a translation issue. Uh, uh, the script was okay, the the performance, the execution was bad. No, oh, I didn't think the script was very good. I found, like... There are moments where the script's like, okay, that's like a... That'd be an okay line if you had performed it correctly, but you yeah, just, sure. like, didn't understand, like, the nuance of what you're saying right now. Um, but there was a lot of things that were just... Like, him just, like, repeating you know, his mottos all the time. It's like, I don't care. I, you just... This is slow and dumb. Like, yeah. I don't need to know all your rules. Like, you're just wasting my time right now. No, that's his shtick. I understand that's his shtick, and it's not interesting. <laughs> no, it's not an interesting shtick. Um, yeah. Uh, I was disappointed. I hoped that this was going to be really good. Um, I was... <laughs> I was okay with it, and then I got really unhappy with it real fast. Yeah. I was like, I don't, I hate this game. Yeah. Um, so, uh, we finished it. It was short. Yeah. Uh, but I don't, I don't like this game at all. <laughs> um, uh, I don't have anything else to say about it. Nor do I. Yeah. That was that. <laughs>